Hi, I'm Jerry Drager, Drager's International Classic Sales in Seattle, Washington. What I have to show you here at Drager's Clubhouse is a really neat 51 Chevy pickup. Now, it's not your average truck by any matter of means. It's a full frame off restored truck. And the neat thing, it's got a 454 underneath the hood here. And I want to tell you, it just runs great. It's well done. The frame's been boxed in. It's got an automatic transmission. It's got a Mustang two front end underneath it. Uh, so you got power steering and power disc brakes. And it's just a fun truck to drive. And I want to tell you, it gets a lot of thumbs up wherever I go. The driver's side of this truck, it's just like all the rest of it. It's beautiful. I mean, you've got your big deep dish uh, chrome wheels on here and chrome screws right here on the fender support underneath there. I mean, it just, it's just nice. Woody dog hair. Oh, there's a little spot right there. I mean, there's hardly anything in it. I mean, this is, this is a brand new frame off restored truck. You can look back in there and you may not see that, but the frame's all painted and everything. And you can see that in the underside photos and video coming up. There's a little chip right there. There's a little spot right there. I mean, there's a couple little spots in it in places, but not much. And it's just beautiful, nice piece. There's a little imperfection right there on the paint. But, you know, I mean, all the chrome is beautiful. The bumper is beautiful. The paint on it, the hood on it. I love the two-tone uh, color combination on here. It just really makes it look great. This is, you know, these are all new. Everything's been replaced. Passenger side looks great. I mean, everything looks beautiful on here. There is a chip here. This is from the hood coming down, I think, catching that a little bit. There's a little spot right there. But overall, it, you know, I mean, it's beautiful. I just, I love driving this truck. Everywhere I go, people are looking at it and asking me about it and stuff, and I'm getting the high signs, and you can imagine why. Now, the back of this truck, it, it's a little bit custom. He filled in both sides here. And this bumper, I believe it's a built bumper made for this truck. Set the tail lights in there, nice. And of course, it all looks real good. We have a scratch here. That's the worst thing I've seen so far on this truck is right there. And there's another little scratch on the paint there. The tailgate is bolted shut, so we won't open it up. There's another little scratch and chips right there. Now the bed in this truck is probably the worst thing on this truck. I know it's the worst thing on this truck. It still looks okay, but it's old wood. It's been re-varnished and stuff, and then they painted these strips, uh, the, the metal strips in here. I mean, if it's fine just the way it is. You put a new oak bed in this thing, and it would just be stunning, wouldn't it? Now to open up the hood, you just reach down underneath here, and there's a lever there. And underneath here, there's another little uh, lever for your safety. And you can raise it up. Of course, there's your big 454 in there. Everything looks beautiful here. And you just shut it right back down. Both doors open and close great. The windows all roll up good. And down. So it's hot. And you're in here and you want air. Well, you reach down and you push on the knob underneath the dash here and you push the vent open. As you can see, it's got 225 miles right now. It'll have more on it because I like driving it and I have put almost all the miles on this truck since I bought it. I like these dolphin uh, gauges and everything. They look good. You can see everything works good. It's still cold yet. You can see it goes up on the bolts and the gas and oil pressure and everything. And you can see we got a custom steering wheel in here and it's a tilt column so you can put it to your comfort. And you see the wipers work? They're vacuum. Now this truck is all 12 volt now and this is where the cigarette lighter would go. There was nothing there. And so Joe at Old School Garage put this in, so now you got a power source to power up your uh, iPods and iPhones and whatever else it might be. There is no radio in here. It's probably never had a radio in it. There is also no heater in here. And you got a beautiful glove box and door and everything. You can see it's nice and clean and everything. This, like I say, this is a nice, nice truck. Now, when I bought this truck, the seat, I didn't like it at all. So I had the seat redone, 
and they put lumbar support in here so you can see it it comes out right here and it redid that and also the door panels on here we had those redone so it looks really good and then of course uh, uh, we I didn't like the gas pedal on it and so we changed that Joe at old school changed the gas pedal which screwed up the carpets that were in it and that was okay because they weren't all that great so we had new carpets made for it and they fit really nice and look really really good on here so now the interior is really nice in here the door panels I mean they're beautiful I had those redone and because uh, I wasn't happy with the finish on them and the way it looked and the color combination and you but this is just the way I bought this truck it all finished like this nice I mean I just touched a couple of things on it it does have a new VIN tag on here on the chassis, so it's something for you to consider. Some states it won't matter. Some states may require to bond it. You can see the underside of the wood bed here. It's, uh, it, I think, is the weakest point on this whole truck. Uh, a new oak bed would really look great in here, and you'll see it from the other side. Anyway, uh, the. Uh, you can see that it was, this was a total frame off restored truck so uh, it was down to bare frame and he painted the frame and he boxed it in up front. We'll show you that as we move forward. You can see that everything is well done on this truck and it's just clean and nice and again it's only got 200 miles on it and I put most of those miles on. These exhaust system right here, I'm not sure whose mufflers they are, they sound great but if you want to get it a little quieter in there you need to extend these mufflers down and out as you can see everything's in here nice uh, everything looks good they even painted the undersides there the cabs all painted really well because he had the cab off and the cab corners are there too the drain vents are in the cab corners like they're supposed to be now you can see the floor pans are all real good you know you don't find rust in this truck anywhere I mean, this truck, of course, was an eastern Washington truck. It uh, grew up in uh, Wenatchee, Washington, where it's lived almost its whole entire life until I bought it and brought it to Seattle. And it shows underneath here. I mean, it's just a great dry truck, no rust. This is a 400 turbo automatic transmission underneath here. And again, as you can see, everything looks good. Floor pans all up through there. All his workmanship looks really good. Now we don't have a cover on here and Andrew's going to see if he can get a cover for this and, and get a cover on there. This 454, it runs really nice. I, uh, I really like driving this truck so well uh, just because of this 454 and this Mustang 2 front end on here. I mean this truck just really handles nice and of course you've got, you've got the disc brakes. And if you can see here on both sides the front of the frame is all boxed in so you've got additional support. and and strength there so this truck was well engineered of course you can see we got the power steering right here uh, on this Mustang 2 front end underneath here and of course everything else is clean and nice it's not a show truck per se but you know what it's very well done and it's just fun to drive and you can see there's a trans cooler right underneath here for the transmission so it's all set up for running in hot weather we put the four core radiator in now this 454 just sets in here really nice it's big and they had to extend it back in in the firewall so they cut it and moved that back the power steering pump they even opened this up a little bit here and filled it in so that the, there was plenty of room for the power steering pump in there but it's well engineered it sits in there well really works good when I bought this truck it did not have this radiator in it and we put this four core radiator in here it's aluminum with the expansion tank and a big cruise fan on here so it's got plenty of cooling and I've driven this truck quite a bit now and I'm nothing it just sits right there the temperature is solid and you can see everything is really clean in here nice setting on an Elderbrock uh, carburetor underneath there and all looks real good now what you're looking at here is that four core radiator with a big uh, electric cruise fan behind it and it's got a it's thermostatic controlled which means when it gets warm it comes on and blows and when it cools down it'll shut down so it's not running constantly. Let's listen to this big 454 run now.
like that sound? <laughs> They're running right at 180 degrees on the temperature. It's got that big four core radiator in there with a cruise fan on there. And we're just under a half a tank of gas. Oil pressure sitting there at about 30 pounds at idle and almost 14 volts on an idle. So everything's working nice. I like these dolphin uh, gauges. They look really nice. 220 miles on it now. I'll put some more on. I know it looks neat. It looks neat in the photos I've taken so far, so I know it looks neat driving down the road. It's heavy traffic, so we're not, we're only doing a little over 50, maybe 55 right now. I mean, it just cruises really, really nice. Because I've driven it quite a bit. I've had it on the freeway. I love driving it. It's geared tall, so it stretches legs a lot. side of this uh, Chevy pickup. clubhouse and I hope you enjoyed this uh, tour when the uh, 51 uh, Chevy pickup it is a neat piece on behalf of my father Jerry and myself I hope you enjoyed the video that we put together and got a better feel for what this overall condition of the vehicle is thanks Andrew and Woody anyway we would like to invite you to come see us at Drager's Clubhouse. If you're ever in Seattle, you should give us a call and come out and see Drager's Clubhouse firsthand. It's a fun place. We've got a lot of interesting things. And if you have any questions about the vehicle you just watched, give us a call at 206-533-9600. Thanks again.